All right, I'm here with Congressman Guest, um, who's signing on with a discharge petition for uh, Born Alive. Congressman, it's great to have you here. Uh, now, when this happened in the Senate, I remember one of the senators said, we already have legislation to protect infants that are born alive, to, to stop infanticide. So why is this sort of thing necessary? You know, we're beginning to see a shift uh, across our country uh, that is, is, is moving away from protecting the rights, not just of the unborn, but to, to, that are moving away from protecting the rights of the born. Mm -hmm. And so what we want to do is we want to make sure that we have codified that there's legislation that will protect the rights of children who are born alive. Now, it seems like it's getting better in certain states and, and getting worse in others. Uh, so do, do you see a trend? I mean, the, the fact that we're having to do this on the federal level, not just the state level, do you, do you see a trend going on at the federal level about how we can start moving life legislation now that we've gone beyond just abortion, but protecting life after that? You know, I think you're exactly right. Currently, we have a hodgepodge of laws uh, right. that differ from state to state. Mm -hmm. I think we need to have a unified, codified system of laws that protects not only those individuals who are born alive, that, but also that we move forward to protect the unborn. Uh, mm -hmm. This is a debate that should not be difficult. Uh, as a prosecutor, I fought f to protect those individuals and fought to protect lives. As a congressman, I'm going to legislate in an attempt to protect the life of the born and the unborn.